Welcome back guys, we are continuing this Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail Rule the Waves campaign and this is part two. So, I'm not going to read everything that we open on here, but after opening them I will leave it on the screen for a short while for you to read and then you can pause it if you want to read it yourself. Okay, so we are just advancing to the next stage. Now, as far as I can remember, when you've got trophies in here, I think they cost... So, total. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it costs money to keep trophies so if you're not going to intend on using them in the future, make sure you send them to the Admiralty before advancing a month. Now, unlike Ultimate General, I think the shop keeps the weapons, the roll over, whatever's available rolls over. So you don't have to buy stuff. Um, in this game, like you do in Ultimate General. You can just let it roll over and then buy it when you need it. So we're in no rush to buy anything. So let's just advance to the next stage. So we're just going to keep on, keep hold of the prisoners for now. Right, we have actually got a career point. So let's read these. Prices on everything in the shop. Is that on sale as well as on purchase? So cash reward for missions. Extra weaponry. So we don't really care about that one. Crew training speed, casualty replenishment, veterans, technological novelties. Right, okay. Technologies are cheaper. Officer training speed, hiring officer cost, more officers available, repair cost, damage control, upgrade cost, success chance, and a chance of officers to die. Okay. So, we're probably just going to go for the cash reward first. Yeah, so we'll probably go cash reward, then crew training then casualty replenishment. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using veterans. I haven't got a clue to be honest with you. So I might go into these two, repair cost and damage control. Yeah, I'll have a think about it. Okay, let's see what we've got coming up. Let's read these first. So that is a, um, a random encounter that you don't actually participate in. And then whatever you add to the random encounter increases or decreases the chance of it being successful.
Right then. So this needs three ships, or doesn't need, but can have three ships. A land battle, right. So I'm not going to bother showing the land battle because they're just agonisingly painful. So I'll do that off camera and then we'll jump back in with uh, this priority. Right, for me to be able to do a land battle, do I need two... I reckon I'd need two transport ships. Hmm, not sure. I think only one's necessary. I'll figure it out anyway. So yeah, I think I'll do this off camera and then I'll jump back in with this mission afterwards. Okay, so I've done the land battle and uh, it was... <laughs> it was uh, tedious. All of the problems that I remember are just as frustrating this time around. But it gave us enough cash to buy a third ship. And all three of them have got cannons on. Right, so Walpole must reach the safe zone. Let's tell everybody to put grape shot on. Right, so it looks like we're just looking at four small ships. See if we can board all of them.
he's going to be a bit of a challenge to get to. whatever reason this isn't initiating the boarding come on well that's just frustrating we were in the perfect angle to board him oh dear. got him now. We unfortunately got rigging shocked. Say unfortunate, it's my own fault. Okay, we've got him boarded. Got that one boarded. Oops, just realised I had the microphone on mute. So I think we've done pretty well there. Bit of a shaky start, but we managed to board all the rest of them pretty quickly. And there's the victory. I like how you capture the rifles often. So we can get two reputation for 351 prisoners. So it's not one per 100, which is what I thought it might have been. So let's see when it goes up to three, 
what the uh, amount of prisoners goes up to. Okay, so we've just got the uh, random encounter, whatever you want to call it. I can't remember the exact terminology for it. We haven't got anything to buy. None of these are worth keeping, so we're going to be selling all of them. 195, yeah. It's not worth keeping any of them. Oh, wait a minute. These are my ships. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't hit the sell button then. 195 is the optimal, yeah. I've got to remember that that's not the maximum. That was lucky. I should probably do it from this screen so I don't make any mistakes. Right then, um, don't really know what I'm doing. Don't really care too much about any of this stuff at the moment. So yeah, let's just do this. 69, 80... 77, um, what was I doing, that one, that one, 77, 77, interesting, okay, 80, right, let's see what happened, we found a huge cave for the entire village living inside. Sadly, they have nothing to trade but fish. On the other hand, in our condition, it's nice to have a place to buy some food without paying the Spaniards tax. Okay, so I don't think this could have turned out any differently. I don't remember ever seeing a different result. Got supplies from Jamaica, extra rewards. So we've got another random encounter. We've got a sea battle with three ships and a combination of sea and land. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, this isn't really a combination. This is mainly just a land battle. The ships don't have enough range to actually hit them. I don't think. So it's basically just a land battle. Right then. Let's have a look. See if there's anything else to buy. So we have got another ship that we can buy that's... Slightly better. Don't really know how many troops this will let us carry. But I think it's basically the same as what we've already got. What's the speed? 15. Eight point three. What? Is that because it's got stuff equipped? 8.9. 7.5. What? It must have something to do with the stuff that we've got equipped on it. Because why else would all these, all three of my ships be different? So that's not easy to compare them if the stuff you've got equipped changes it. But 15 knots, 
with 200 capacity and 42 guns compared to 26. It's clearly a better ship. So, I think I might buy it. We've got the cash. Let's buy it. Let's have a look. So it needs the officers. So let's just dismiss these three. It needs a fourth, does it? Hmm. Where? I've just dismissed. Where are the people I've just dismissed? Oh, uh, you need to bloody click this. <laughs> okay. Right, that's fine. It goes up to 300, so it's the same. Um, let's take these guns off. So we've got them guns that can go in there. Or they can also go in here. So that's 26, 28, so we could just put them in there. Or we could buy more guns. So that's 10, 150, 1050. So that's faster reload, but shorter range. Now the range is not particularly important for us. Because we're just using canister, which has got really short range anyway. So we're probably better off going for the faster reload. So let's go for that. With that in mind, 10, 129, all right, 7. Okay, so they've got, so that's the best in terms of damage that we can get. So yeah, let's go for that. And that. And our speed has dropped to 12.2. So... And that's risen to 10.7. So it's still faster. But the cannons do change the speed. Right, let's see what we can actually get. Max speed plus one knots and acceleration. Worse armor and HP but bigger capacity. Bigger capacity, less armor. Turn speed, ship speed. Rudder turn speed. I mean, cannon's weight. There's no downside to having that. Well, if we were going to go max, then we would have too much. So the thing that reduces or increases capacity is probably what we're going to need. The cannon weight as well. So that would reduce it to 71. Oh, what's this?
Right, so that leaves us with far too much that we can't do anything with. So that's 22, so that's 47. We could get optimized rig and rudder tackle. Turn speed and rudder speed. So we could get two turn speeds. Or if we went for that, we'd only have 19 left. So we wouldn't be able to get anything else. So what's how much does that cost? 4,800. This only costs 1,800, so we save 3,000. But we would have 10 less HP and armor. Oh, the, that's really bloody expensive. I don't know whether... I don't know whether I want to spend that much money on a ship this early on. I mean, I don't even want to spend the uh, the cannon weight reduction because it's almost five grand. So I could just take twenty two less. So yeah, I could either take twenty two less or sp or spend five grand to be able to take the extra twenty two. So let's just go in with 22 less at the moment. So 272. So we could take these. These have got a melee of 20. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. And then if we feel like we need the extra... 28 troops and we can just spend the five grand right then Okay, I think that is fine. So this mission, we've got three. Nothing else left to buy. So yeah, I think we're, we're good to go straight in. Okay, so what is the objective? Eliminate enemy fleet. That's nice and easy. So what are we looking at? Two merchant ships. I wonder if all of them merchants on there, if I'm going to have to fight them all, I think I probably would. I say merchants, they're probably troop transports, not merchants. So they've got one ship here. I think there's a way to actually see what it is. Um, if we target it, what does this say? Manual aim. There we go. Fifth rate. I wonder if we can find out what ours are. Not from here, I don't think. But I reckon that's probably a, a nice ship to to capture. Probably going to need to do a little bit of canister fire to it.
I might just go straight in for the melee. I can always just go in with one of these afterwards. Preferably, to get a two-on-one, the first ship should go behind and then come in, and then the second ship engage him while this, while this one's turning around to engage him from the other side. So I think I might do that, seeing as he's uh, got a similar amount of troops to us. So we can go this way. I mean, it's the perfect angle to board him, but we got to keep our eyes on the prize. One engaged. Let's see if I can get the other one in. Come on, slow down. And both engaged at the same time. That was perfect. A perfect manoeuvre.
Lovely. Let's see if we can go do some damage to these. Don't know if you need to take the merchant ships, but I definitely want them. Yeah, apparently we do need them. So there's no point in boarding them unless I have to, because they've got quite a lot of troops with no guns. So I'd rather just shell them, get some grape shot in there. We should be able to just get them to surrender from the grape shot and then we can just board them. Send our little boats over. Save on a few lives. That's one captured. This one should submit at some point. He might even board me. I don't know if uh, merchant ships do boarding. We're in the perfect position for it. <laughs> Apparently not. Interesting. Well, that 
caught me off guard. I'm amazed he hasn't surrendered yet. I didn't expect him to shoot, <laughs> even though I targeted him, I only targeted him to match his speed. I didn't actually expect him to shoot with my other ship being in the way, but he did. I basically don't want to engage this until I've got this one freed up to, to do a double attack on him. I'm just going to use this one to board him. Although this is the ship with the best speed and guns, so really what I should be doing is taking out these, telling them to join onto him. Ah, damn it. He hasn't got enough space. Um, if I... Because he only needs one. Have I got someone in here? Right, let's take him out. Seeing as he's KIA. Put him in. And then he can go in there. Come on. Why aren't you going in? There we go. He can now engage the ship. Ah, they're aiming at my little boat, unfortunately. Hopefully he makes it. Can't believe he's still going. Let's board him.
can board whenever you want. There we go. Okay, that's him sorted. Right, no, I can't. Right then, let's get him targeting this guy. He can come round to the other side, and then we're going to snag ourselves another decent ship. Let's see what he is. Fifth rate again. Not bad. So we're going to get ourselves two fifth rate ships here. So we've basically upgraded our entire fleet. Well, that grape shot did absolutely naffle. was a little bit better. We're absorbing some significant damage though, and he is pretty damn fast. Which is not good for this ship, because he's not that fast at all. So we may have to try and damage his sails. Oh, we've got this little boat chasing. <laughs> That's hilarious.
have got him boarded, so fingers crossed one ship is enough. This ship seems so damn slow. But I think we've got him wavering, so I think one ship was enough. Happy days. And we've captured the final ship. So, we lost 300 crew. But we captured one, two, three, four, five ships. We lost a commander, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll take that. Capturing five ships. Most of it goes on to reputation, like. But that's a nice haul. Okay, so really... The ones that we just captured, they've got 40 guns compared to our 46. They've got 12 speed... And 10 acceleration. I don't know if that's because these have got crew. But it seems like a pretty decent ship. It's got 100 more weight. So yeah, it's either equal or slightly better than the one we've already got. So that can replace these two. So I'm happy with that. How much do they cost? 25. So we can afford them. So. We definitely don't need two of these. Uh, they cost six. Now I might need another infantry ship for future battles I don't know so I'm just going to keep it as a trophy for now definitely don't need that one what I want to know is if I purchase these does it change the cost so 5, 7, 9, 6 oh it's actually cheaper if you've bought them. Oh no, sorry. No, 5796. No, no, it's not. <laughs> My bad. So it costs 300 a month. So there's no point in buying them unless you actually need them. That was just to find out. Okay. So I'm almost definitely not going to need these ships anymore. Oh, I didn't take the crew off, idiot. So now I've got too much crew. Forgot about that. Okay. Well, I'll have a, a little think about what to do with them. So it's gone up to three now, and it's five, five, seven. So potentially 150 every 150 prisoners. It goes up by one. There's no point in getting rid of them until I actually need them. Okay, so we've got a career point. And then, oops, wrong button. 
And then the next one is going to be a land battle, so I'll, I'll do that one off camera. So I shall see you in the next episode, I reckon. Because uh, I don't think there's any point in recording another battle in this episode. I think it's gone on long enough. So I shall see you in the next one. Cheers for watching. Take care.